Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Dino here, and we back with another video full of crazy clips from all over the world. I hope you're all doing well. Let's hop right into it. Has NASA really been hiding the truth about space from us? Now, as a lot of y'all already know, there's been a lot of speculation on the internet over the past couple of years about if NASA's really been telling the truth to us. Now, here's a picture of one of the astronauts in space with the reflection in his helmet of what seems to be a person not even wearing a space suit. Let me get a little bit closer, y'all. It looks like the person has almost like black legs, but a spacesuit's white. Now I got a quick video from a NASA broadcast of some type of glitch which leads people to believe that NASA might be using green screen. Have a good flight and uh, many more exciting experiments on the orbit. Thanks a lot. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes... People believe NASA might be using some type of green screen on this. People around the internet have been believing that this could possibly be a green screen effect. Because why are only the people in the video glitching out while the background remains intact like it's some type of green screen backdrop? Now I got one last video for you of a SpaceX rocket with what appears to be some type of rodent walking around on it, leading people to believe this is all just framed. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think has nasa been hiding something from us or are people just going too far with these theories both <laughs> people going too far and they're hiding stuff because we all know that they're lying about all kinds of things but we all also know people are going way too far with these theories <laughs> What is it, a spider? Mm -hmm. now. Get out of here. Oh my god, that is evil. <laughs> no, nah, wow. man, why are you Look messing with that it? Fucker is. Wow, it's fucking massive, that. Jesus. That's wild, dude. That thing is huge. Get it. Don't leave it in there. Get it. All right. So fair warning before this next clip plays, I'm going to give everyone a chance to go ahead and skip two and a half minutes from when I get done talking to skip this next clip because it touches on a subject that even bothers me. Adult swim. All kids out of the pool. Major trigger warning, you guys. This mother, son, and her boyfriend allegedly essayed two male children, one as young as five years old, live streamed it, and took payment to watch. They're from Boca Raton, Florida, but over Thanksgiving 2023, the two boys were visiting somebody in a different city, I would assume family. While they were there, they reported what was going on. One boy said that they were pulled out of their beds separately to perform acts that included digital and object i'm not even gonna say those words that occurred in front of a laptop the boys said that it was ongoing and that they did not want to go home and then on december 1st one of the victims a 14 year old boy told investigators that it began when he was nine and seized in november of 2023 so five years you guys that's how long this went on for five freaking years this is the mom, girlfriend. Her name is Valkyria Cassini. She's 38 years old. And according to her Facebook, she's like an ED specialist, you know, like when men can't, you know. So the boys told authorities that she would wake them up in the middle of the night, literally drag them out of their beds to go and be essayed in front of a live audience. She would make them do stuff and then she would do things to them and she took money for people to watch, which is just sick all around. First off, who's going to do that to children? But then who's going to pay to watch that stuff? According to reports, the essay of the youngest child started when he was just five years old. She's apparently been in some sort of legal battles with the father, her ex, since 2020. So this is the boyfriend, 42-year-old Ryan Londano. 
He's apparently a business administration grad from Florida Atlantic University, but he's currently working for some IT company, according to his Facebook. And this is her oldest son, Matthew, who participated in all of it. So after a four month long investigation, the Boca Raton police and FBI agents raided the house and took all kinds of stuff. She is being charged with essay of a child under 12, essay by a custodian, and criminal conspiracy and cruelty to a child. Her son, Matthew, is being charged with essay of a victim under 12, but he is not being charged for live streaming it just for the actual, you know, acts. And then Ryan is being charged with SA with battery on a victim under 12 and criminal conspiracy and cruelty to a child. Reports state that Amazon, Microsoft, PayPal, and Zelle are all cooperating with the investigation. I just don't understand this. People make me sick. That makes me very, 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 very angry and upset. That is bad. These are bad, bad, bad people. Look at that tire. You can see police crews blocking off part of the parking lot. This is at SFO, and that is the tire that came off that United plane just a short while ago. And it does look like when it fell, it possibly damaged a car and a fence there as well. Uh, looks like maybe possibly several cars damaged at SFO. That's that tire that uh, fell off of that plane, dude. Tire that came off <laughs> yeah, that's the tire that fell off of that plane that was taken off in the last video. Here is why the world is not ending, but for some people it will be. People who have created their lives around manipulation, greed, deception, ego, pride, those people's worlds will be crumbling because we are entering into an age of transparency, authenticity, truth, and deception will not be able to survive in this new earth. So for us, we're just getting started, but people who have been decept deceiving us and manip manipulating us for a long time, those people's worlds will be ending. All right, follow me to see more. I know I keep playing random clips of uh, all kinds of people from around the world saying the same thing, but like, there's a reason for that. Moon landing was faked, you just want attention. It took nearly half a million people to build the Saturn V rocket and the lunar module. Do you think they all lied until their graves? You don't think one person would have snitched by now? Oh, but like his boots don't match the footprint on the moon. Yeah, it's literally called an overshoe. It was part of the spacesuit. It's really not that hard to understand. But like, why is the flag waving? There's no atmosphere. It doesn't make any sense. Do you think NASA doesn't understand gravity? They installed a metal rod to hold up the flag, but it got jammed and didn't extend all the way. But why aren't there any stars? Like, they're in space. You'd be able to see the stars. Yeah, it's called being on the daylight side of the moon. You know the side that faces the sun? Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to see anything. If they took the focus off the surface and tried to point it at the stars, this is what it would look like. Do you think anybody wants to see that? But just in case common sense isn't good enough for you, the lunar module is literally still there, and people take pictures of it all the time. Yeah, it is true. It is still there, and people do take pictures of it all the time. Um, but whether or not you know it happened is is a different story but there is something there that they say is the lunar module i mean that that is something there like right there but uh you know i i personally think the moon is still within uh the firmament so that we have we have been to the moon but there's a lot of people who will disagree with me so is a 15 minute city and why are conspiracy theorists jumping on it? You may have seen this, a vision of what the future of the world's big cities might look like, but some on TikTok aren't happy. You won't be able to do that. Spo Just the government paying you to keep me quiet. <laughs> you won't be able to do that. Um, no, really, smart cities are good and bad at the same time because, like, uh, what you have there is what you get. So you'll be really far from the next smart city that has what you want. So it's just not going to be 
worth it to like go out of your way to travel from smart city to smart city to get the different things you want plus you'll probably have to pay fees for entering another zone and all kinds of other things like you can stop me anytime by telling the truth that like trust me the digital age tax is definitely coming and the camera systems watching everything we do already exist wait until they have little drone robots that can bzzzt, bzzzt, bzzzt whenever they want you know like just think about it dudes just think about it <laughs> he was so surprised dude was at home it's like no i'm out did you see when this happened Yeah, I've seen that video a million times, dude. I, I still, I logically can't explain it. Let's say, like, if I wanted to explain it, it looks like there's another planet up there or another sun. Um, it really does. Green afternoon. Listen to the 911 call from Kevin Hart. Somebody close to him. Okay, how long ago did the accident happen, though? How long, I mean, a couple of hours ago or, or what? Like... 20 minutes ago, outside of our, our gated community. I don't know what happened. Okay, but he's, scared. he's not coherent at all. Did he get treatment originally for when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We're just here and he can't, he can't move. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? Do you see anything broken? Something on his back is out on his spine and that, I'm yeah, not they sure. cloned him. Uh, so wow. Kevin Hart injuries are intense. The clone uh, or AI. Follow me for more truthful content. Make it go viral. Minutes Peace. Outside of our gated. Hmm. Now that's crazy. Like, how is that call even possible? Because you seen the car in the crash, right? Like, you wouldn't have even thought he would have been able to get out of that car. So, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's fishy right there the sacred buildings they used to have these brass balls and they loaded them up with mercury and they put them real high up so that they could gather atmospheric energy mm -hmm. which is free energy the higher you go up the more energy that's up there and they would run for example a copper wire down into their home and they could use that if they wanted free energy or to light their light bulbs or whatever things that they had in the home a lot of this is never disclosed because, for example when we look at all of these things from the past we start to look at a lot of things were about electrical conductivity. They all look like conductors, right? Sacred yes. buildings are looking like conductors. They're built like conductors. There's free energy right there. Free it's energy right there. Are, man. But the thing is, is they changed all the history to make it look like everybody was fighting each other. It was medieval. People were going against each other. But in reality, I think the hidden history of the past is very different than what we've been taught. I do too. I think it's different. I think it's a lot different. That's pretty cool though. Whatever's going on there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've always wondered, you know, what is all of this old architecture and how come our new architecture is very fragile compared to it and very like minimalistic and almost not really even like anyone's trying i don't know
That's wild. There's more? Yo, what? That's like five. Where'd that one go? Oh, it's gone. I would not want to be there, man. That thing is literally walking. Yeah, man, I don't know. That's scary. And with how old it is, it gives it even, like, a um, even creepier vibe because of the sound. Dude, the stuff they have that they probably don't tell us about. How much of that is real? Yeah, um, it's, it's pretty real. Have you right. seen some stuff that made you go, holy shit. Yes. They can do that? Yes. Really? Yeah. And How much can you tell us? Um, well, you know what? One thing that they're doing, and, and this, this is actually something I wanted to talk about uh, today, uh, because it's going to affect everybody. It's not just something that, that is going to affect people in the military or else in the intelligence community. Uh, but one of the things that they've been working on is, imagine you've got a, you got a rock up on a, on a target. And you're, but you're, before you do that, before you, you get the customers on site and you're going to, you know, hopefully obtain some high value uh, targets there at that location. Before you do that, you got to talk in like euphemisms. Oh, I'm sorry. Before so, you're going to okay. nuke people. Yeah, yeah before, yeah, before you're going to go in there. blow terrorists yeah. into another dimension. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, you okay, actually, I was going to say, sometimes you want to actually capture them and get their intelligence. We've gone past that, right? Because the years where we were getting our ass kicked for holding on to people in, in detention facilities, um, you know what that did? That that pretty much convinced everybody uh, that was involved in this to get just, right just whack them, right? Yeah. Because then you don't have to deal with the aftermath. You don't have to worry about, are you going to get in trouble for interrogating Guantanamo. Somebody. Right, exactly. Or, so, yeah. so that actually increased the lethality of operations. You started painting targets and just blowing the shit out of there rather than trying to grab the target and get their intel. That's right. a problem because then the pipeline dries up for the intel. But uh, anyway, so imagine you got this. You got this site. The first thing you got to do is determine if your target's there, right? And it's not like that. You know, the Tom Clancy movies where, you know, you're looking through walls and all this shit. It's it, you know that that technology, night vision devices, and 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 that ability in low light conditions to uh, to monitor and to identify specific uh, individuals um, has always been a problem. They've made great strides on it to the point now where in no light conditions, right? With the, with the right stacked database, with the right information, and that database meaning the right uh, amount of, of information about individuals, right? You're, just, you're co constantly populating this database with new faces or with new photographs of individuals that you're going after. Uh, with enough of that to sift through, they're getting to the point now with no light conditions that they can uh, identify uh, positively yeah, the targets in that room or the targets yes. in that facility or in that building, whatever it might be. Yeah, through the signals in the Wi-Fi and the 4G and 5G and the outlines that we create within that signal, it, it's, it's very deep and very complicated. Y'all don't even want me to get started on it. I can't. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> These are real flowers that are marking the end of human existence and 2024 is going to be bad. People were terrified as Antarctica started to grow terrifying plants which will mark a dangerous deadly end for animals and the rest of us. The plants signify the rate in which the ice caps are melting which allows plants to grow and thrive which should never be happening. Scientists have even issued a warning to say that this will trigger some very scary changes for our planet. These plants were initially said to be rarely found in Antarctica but as the temperatures have grown warmer they've begun to spread and even mutate causing the plants and ice to introduce to the world new viruses and new diseases. And according to scientists, the speed in which these flowers are growing and spreading have accelerated 3x since 1960. The flowers also serve as That's a reminder cool, that though. the weather is like, in fact getting much warmer and could cause permanent damage to penguins and polar bears. But for now, I guess it's cool that penguins will have flowers to give to their partners. <laughs> it's a good way to look at it. Now what the hell going on here, Hollywood? America, please explain this one. Welcome to Mega Dead Burger. Home of the Mega Dead Burger. 
yeah so i can't play much more of that clip uh because it's from a movie um they basically clone ed and they clone the other guy and everybody from good burger and they make robots out of them and uh they have these artificial intelligence robot clones of them that are running everything at this place and uh making fake meat and like robots and artificial intelligence are doing everything in the whole restaurant kind of like the first one only instead of chemicals and juicing up the burgers now it's robots are making them so they're just as bad you know uh, but that's what it's showing oh give me a minute because the trolls have been all over the page <laughs> asking for evidence even though there's lots of video posted online i mean all you got to do is get on telegram if you want evidence mm -hmm, mm -hmm, of all mm -hmm. the planes that have been shot down over ukraine in the and russia in the last two weeks right it's the total now is 12 su-34 two su-35s one Beriev A-50 for a grand total in hardware losses, not to mention the, the pilots, right, who can't be replaced. And now mm -hmm. there are reports that Russian pilots are uh, hesitant, let's say, to uh, hop in the cockpit and fly sorties over Ukraine Can you as well them? they should be. <laughs> For a grand total of over 900, it's going on a billion dollars in lost aircraft and a total of 5% of the SU-34 fleet or what we think is actually working of that fleet, 10% of it. Mm -hmm. And the look, my friends, on Putin's face, absolutely priceless. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? Really, guys? We're, we're... Really, guys? That's, that's, <laughs> that's what we're doing to him now? All right. What they're trying to do to make uh, the, the, the online world a nicer place. Right. It's you got to be really careful with saying things like that because sensitive is a weird term. If someone is violently sensitive opposed to who, right? Also, what if someone is violently extent? opposed to something that's happening? Like think about one, one or many of the military conflicts around the world. Don't pick oh, yeah. a side. What if someone is violently opposed to these people dying and losing their lives and they're talking about it? Is that an insensitive piece of content that can now be censored? By a new policy is that what it is the updated policy provides practice including price gouging misdirected traffic and victim blaming during sensitive events victim blaming the thing about victim blaming is you can do it both ways right like victim blaming like with hamas and palestine and and israel sure you, you gotta let people talk yeah and if talking looks like victim blaming until people work it out then why not let you can't it, just stop people from it. talking so That's what are we saying true. are we saying that it's just they yeah, you can't just stop people from talking just because you want to call it or it sounds like victim blaming at the time. There is a flying car. There is a flying car in the sky. A flying car. What is that? Straight up, I can't do this shit. There was... The cars were honking at it. Like, you can't even really see it. Look, it's literally spinning. What is that? Bro. What? What? Literally. I can't breathe. I'm literally scared. Why isn't just a stroll on the fucking sidewalk while we have mothercraft mother? Me and my bestie were right there, and it literally almost hit the road. What is that? Oh, actually, yeah, I don't know. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god! No, that is what pretty is wild. It? What is it? Is that a flying car? What the hell? <laughs> go, bro, go! What is that? Oh my no, god! No, that that one's it's, wild what looking. Is it? Girl. Like, you know,
Yeah, I don't know, man. That straight up looks like a flying car. You know what it could be, though? It could be one of those, like, go-karts with a bottom put on it that that somebody puts the fan on and it has a parachute and they're just fan riding around, you know what I mean? Uh, it could be one of those. There's some morbid facts about Elon Musk. As a child, Elon was the youngest and smallest student in his class and was viciously bullied. During one incident, he was thrown down the stairs and kicked in the head by several students until his face was unrecognizable. Oh. Luckily, he became a billionaire since it took him decades of plastic surgeries to fix the damage caused to his face and nose. Elon has been quoted calling his father Errol a terrible human being who's done almost every evil thing imaginable. In 1998, Errol had seven intruders break into his home and killed three of them before the rest ran off. He also has two kids with his stepdaughter who's 42 years younger than him and was only four years old when Errol married her mom. In the year 2000, Elon contracted one of the most lethal forms of malaria while on vacation in South Africa. At one point, he was only hours away from death and lost 45 pounds in total while taking six months to recover. Mm. He cites this near-death experience as a turning point of his life that gave him a renewed focus and determination to succeed. That's wild. What has this man not done or been through or seen? That it, it just gets crazier and crazier. Yo, a lot of that stuff was actually really awesome looking, like, not gonna lie. They're developing technologies right now, and they have been. I've been sitting on this for seven years without talking about it. And here's the basic idea. Resonance frequencies. Everything vibrates. If we had an electric razor, plugged it in, turned it on, set it on this table, it's going to move around, isn't it? That's the beginning of the concept because it's vibrating. Everything vibrates at a frequency, and if you know that frequency, you can control things. And I right. think that's the basic idea of what we're looking at here. So somehow, through this technology, they're able to move stone? or cut stones or all the above all the above and it's all based upon the ancient numbers you want to know how bad it is we're now seeing democrat mayors democrat governors mayors like eric adams the democrat in new york who says illegal immigration is destroying new york city that's with 110,000 all right moving on and I think evil exists in many forms and it exists in callous disregard for loss of life for profit. That's evil, right? And that's a real thing. Like mm -hmm. you could say evil is Thank the you. devil. Here's a little lighter here, buddy. You could say evil is Satan and evil is demons and evil is, you know, exorcisms and shit. There you oh. go. Look at that, baby. But also evil is profit over human life, which is real. Is this the shit you think about when you lay in bed at night? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How the fuck do you sleep? Sometimes I don't. That's, yeah, yeah. That's a real yeah, problem right? at night. Yeah. At night, I have my most anxiety-filled moments about this stuff. I, I've talked about it openly. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like I'll really freak out at night because I, I legitimately think we are one or two events away from living in the Stone Age again. We really are, And though. I think it could happen in our lifetime, and it could happen to you and I. Like, I'm, I'm really convinced that the fabric of society is way more fragile than anyone appreciates yeah that most people appreciate rather i mean and, i feel it in the air yeah can you just shut it off no way dude my internet is <laughs> it's useless information <laughs> no unfortunately you can't just shut it off but yeah i know exactly what he means check this out you guys look what the air force is following 
the the Nellis Air Force Base is following. Y'all see that? It's right mm -hmm. there. I do. The Air Force is trying to follow it. it it's like it's hidden. Y'all see that? Hold on. Let me zoom in for y'all. There you go, y'all. There we go. I zoomed in for y'all. Look, look how big that thing is. Wow. Look how look at the size of that compared to that plane. Do y'all see that? That junk is huge. Mm hmm Oh wow. That is not a cloud, you guys. You guys can clearly see that's not a cloud. And just look at the size comparison between this plane over here and this thing. Just look at the even the shape of it. The shape of it is pretty weird as well. I don't know. It looks kind of triangle-ish. Mm -hmm. Some I, black I can't triangles. Really tell. But yeah, that thing was Told moving. Everybody so when the flying pyramids show up, it's be careful. Or not? It's so many everybody said, you're crazy. You're crazy. That's a dude in a jetpack. Look at it. That's like a flying suit. Look at it. You can see it. Look at it. It's pretty crazy looking. I was so relieved at the end of this clip. Now, you might not want to watch this one, especially if you're very, very claustrophobic. So <laughs> you've been warned. But if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and follow for more. Underground Explorers is a YouTube channel full of a couple of guys that like to go out and explore cave systems, doing some spelunking and other things like that. This video in particular, they come across a cave that is partly submerged in water. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't major props to these guys <laughs> for doing for doing that kind of stuff. Everything seems to be going fine until it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Is he under? Oh, oh hell no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I can just barely hear it right here today. Oh, so loud. Oh. The echoes This is the waiting area. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go in there and work. Are you going, Jacob? Oh, he, he just barely. Oh, no, no, no. Now, as you can see, this guy all the way back here starts to panic. He starts panicking so bad, however, that he almost ends up getting into trouble underwater with his friend here. No, I wouldn't want to be but in everyone there. Everyone made man. it out okay, and they will live to cave dive another day. Yeah, I bet they will. Nuclear weapons facility in the Texas Panhandle was shut down because of raging wildfires. Now, the fire is, is north of the plant, and emergency personnel are monitoring the situation right now. The United States nuclear That's that wildfire that happened. And disassembled at Pantex, about 30 miles from Amarillo. <clears throat> and authorities say the fires, again, are getting dangerously close to that facility. They just completed a check two minutes ago, and all non-essential personnel are now off-site. Yeah, here's what it looks like tonight in the panhandle. The winds kicked up, causing wildfires to explode. Exactly are happening in multiple towns right now in that rural area and we just got this new video in showing residents leaving Pampa that's about an hour east of Amarillo yep 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 some crazy stuff going on out here it is February 28th 29th 28th 29th I have got me a better quality camera <laughs> to catch this thing in the sky this guy and holy moly I am scared I'm scared, but I'm not going to trip because I've been catching this thing for a while now. It's very ominous. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. 
It's a huge face looking right down on us. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit brighter. There he is. There's the moon. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Let's see if I can get a better picture on the moon like it's supposed to. Is my hand in front of the thing or something? All right, here we go, here we go. There it is. Look at that. Yep, there it is. Who there stuck my is. face up there? The camera's <laughs> so clear. There it is. I had a major encounter with an ET craft, and uh, the ET had some sort of little black rectangular box that was attached to him, and was clearly receiving the thought and as if you would hear it, but it was a clear transmission through consciousness and thought. It was in English, because apparently it goes to this sort of universal translator that is consciousness emerging into a thought. The skin color of, uh, you know, sort of a, a brownish gray, uh, no hair, uh, very fine lips, no external penna. There's at least 60 to 70 species that have been cataloged for the people mm -hmm. I've worked with. But there are various sizes and what have you. One species that's about uh, 39 inches tall. Some people call them advanced technology, others call them ARVs, alien reproduction vehicles. Um, and those, what they do, Imagine if you're an electromag. Uh, I want to hear more. Germany attacks the United States. This is crazy. The Germans have entered the Red Sea very recently to help out with the British and the United States for the stability in the Red Sea. However, the Germans got very, very antsy and decided to attack an MQ-9 Reaper drone belonging to the United States. Now, right. this is either embarrassing or it goes to show how advanced the United States MQ-9 Reaper drones are because the Germans fired two shots at the drone but missed both shots. Now, according to investigations and what's putting out publicly, again to the public, is that the MQ-9 Reaper drone did not have its transponders on. One thing that you guys need to know is that you could literally go on the internet and see publicly where exactly U.S. drones are located around the world. Mm -hmm. And they will do this to make sure that allied forces and other nations will not try to take down this drone. But for whatever reason, the drone had its transponders off. And because of this, the Germans saw it as a threat. Nonetheless, everything is a-ok -okay, but i think the germans are just a little antsy and they are preparing for they a fight since are. they are in the red sea and there's a lot of action going down with the houthis yeah no they're definitely really antsy and they're just waiting for a reason to like pop off on something but i think really everybody is over there everybody involved all right so i got one more for you Germany accuses Russia of information war as the Kremlin uses a leaked military call to exploit Western divisions. The German military's involvement in the conflict in Ukraine is under scrutiny after leaked discussions indicated plans to deploy German-made missiles, potentially requiring the presence of German troops. This development represents a significant shift as Germany has been cautious not to cross this threshold with Chancellor Olaf Scholz previously expressing reluctance to provide such weapons to avoid direct involvement in the conflict. The leak has caused significant turmoil in Berlin, leading to accusations that it might undermine Germany's backing for Ukraine. It is seen as playing into Russian President Vladimir Putin's long-term strategy of waging an information war against the West. The situation is particularly delicate as it involves sensitive military discussions about potential actions in the conflict zone. The concerns are exacerbated by the suggestion that the leak originated from within the Western alliance, hinting mm -hmm. at a breach of trust and security among allies. This has raised alarms about the effectiveness of Russia's tactics in driving a wedge between Western countries, potentially affecting the cohesion and strategy of the NATO alliance and its support for Ukraine. So follow us for all the latest developments. Information war, huh? That's an interesting thought. Anyways, that's it. That's what we got for today. That's another video to drop in the archives. Hope you all had fun hanging out. I appreciate every one of you who come through every video and hits that like button and shares it and stuff. So go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe if you're not. Go share this video with all your friends. And uh, hope you had a good time. Until next time.
Peace.